take control of your network with Glasswire. For more information, check the link below. What's up guys, CPMod here, back with another video, and today we're here to answer the simple but sometimes hard to answer question. Does it matter what RAM slots you put your RAM DIMMs in when you're building your system? Now over the years I've seen all kinds of RAM installs, from ones that are all squished up to one side because they've got a massive air cooler, to RAM sort of just wherever, say a PCI Express slot. But the general rule of thumb goes along the lines that you colour match your slots. So for example, if you have two blue slots, you would install your RAM in the two blue slots, and then say the white slots for example. But the question is, if you don't have the option or you're just going to throw the RAM in wherever, does it really make any performance difference in games? if you're putting RAM in different slots. Now again, today we are focusing more on the gaming side, but if you want to hear about the pro apps and what could actually be done if you have pro applications running on different RAM slots, uh, let me know down below. But again, we are more on the gaming side. So for today's testing, we grabbed our standard test bench, which runs the Gigabyte board, being the uh, Z270 Gaming 3 motherboard, and also too, it has two distinct RAM colors on it. So for example, we have red right here, and also to black, as we can see in this image from the web. Website. So there is different and very distinct RAM DIMMs and if you take a quick punch in you can also to see that they are marked. All motherboards have markings on their RAM slots whether it's RAM 123 or just 123 anything like that. All RAM boards or rather all motherboards have some sort of numbering system. And for the RAM today we got these guys which are 16 gigabyte modules of crucial DDR4 RAM and also too we picked up 2x8 kits to sort of simulate someone who only has one RAM DIMM that's going to put in well, which slot should you put in and also to someone who's running two RAM DIMMs in a dual channel configuration. Now, yes, do note that this introduces dual channel versus single channel, but that's not what we're testing. We'll be comparing all of our single RAM our DIMMs versus all the other single RAM DIMMs and all the two kits versus the other two kits. So do keep that in mind that if you see a performance difference between the two graphs will pop up in just a moment, that's generally speaking down to the dual channel ability of the kits rather than the actual configuration themselves. So again, we'll be comparing single sticks with single sticks and uh, two sticks with two sticks. The rest of the system includes a 7700K GTX 1080 Ti and also to our standard suite of game tests. Now before we do jump in, my theory is as follows and I honestly think there's not really going to be that much of a difference, mainly because modern motherboards and modern biases and modern CPUs and really just modern PCs in general are so much more resilient and also do a lot easier to work with than they once were. Don't get me wrong, quite a few years ago this debate would have been really really valuable but in today's market, I personally don't think there's going to be as much of a difference, but enough speculation, let's get into some testing. So first up, I grabbed my 16GB stick and installed it in all four RAM slots, or at least in four different RAM slots. And taking a look at the numbers here, we see really not that much of a difference. Now 16GB was selected as a lot of games will run perfectly fine with no stuttering and uh, plenty of performance with 16 gigs RAM. Sure, we could have gone up to 32, but at the time of recording, there's no consumer 32 gig sticks that you can just throw into a system, so 16 gigs was what we did go with. And also, too, many people will run 16 gigs of RAM on a mid kind of range PC. In a situation like this, though, personally, I would recommend going with two 8 gigabyte sticks as we can take advantage of dual channel performance for the pro applications, but also to the gaming side. Now, speaking of dual channel performance, let's go ahead and take a look at what the dual channel offers us. Again, we are running 8 gigabytes here, so 2x8, and we run them in slot 1 and slot 2, slot 1 and slot 3, slot 1 and slot 4, slot 2 and slot 3, and so on and so forth. You kind of get the idea, taking a look at the chart right here. So I tried to do every single configuration of RAM uh, DIMMs and here are our numbers. Obviously, there's a lot more runs that needed to be done for two different sticks of RAM. However, as we can see, whilst the FPS are slightly higher than our single channel competitor, uh, we do see that across the board, it is just about the same. Whether it was in slot one and slot three or slot three and slot four, it seemed to sort itself out essentially and work just about no worries. I guess it's a great thing that we've come from the days when I first built my computer where you had to install the RAM in the correct RAM slots for the dual channel to work if you're running dual channel 
channel or if you wanted to actually get the whole thing to boot at all. I remember it would not post. Uh, my first system would not post if I put the RAMs in the wrong RAM slots. So uh, yeah, we've definitely come quite a long way from that as well. Now one thing I unfortunately wasn't able to test was overclocking. I'm not exactly sure whether running them in different RAM DIMMs may actually affect your overclocking results as unfortunately I don't own the RAM DIMMs nor do I own the motherboard. So if I blow one of them up, it's going to be a pretty expensive thing to go ahead and fix. So unfortunately I couldn't test overclocking, but uh, do keep in mind these numbers are all at stock speeds. Now I wasn't going to stop there and so we amped it up ever so slightly. I grabbed two 16 gigabyte modules and a single one by eight kit to see what happens if we kind of throw things around. And unsurprisingly, as we do a whole bunch more numbers, we see that there's really not that much of a difference when it comes to even different capacities. So 32 gigs of RAM didn't really see that much of a difference and a single eight gig kit didn't see that much of a difference from our single 16 and dual by eight kit. So overall, not too much of a difference here. However, one thing to note is the hardware I was using. Not all RAM kits will work together and not all motherboards and CPU combinations will allow for such flawless results as what we got right here. I mentioned my old motherboard didn't even let me post and I'm sure there's still a couple of motherboards out there that would definitely have some struggles uh, running different RAM configurations. But for the most part, I think we can all agree that most of the time we're still gonna get just about the same performance. But again, your CPU can dictate the results, your motherboard can dictate the results and heck, even the RAM sticks themselves could dictate the outcome of your test. So keeping in mind, every system is ever so slightly different. But speaking of ever so slightly different, let me know down in that comment section if you'd like to see a mega showdown where we take a bunch of motherboards, a bunch of CPUs and a bunch of different RAM kits, throw them all together to see really if there's much of a difference. Let me know down below. So TLDR time of this relatively short video. Does it matter if you put your RAM in different RAM slots? Basically, not really for most modern systems. Do keep in mind, I mentioned most modern systems. CPU configurations, motherboard configurations, and even RAM configurations can alter your outcome. So just because I was successful in having just about the same performance across the board, it may not necessarily be reflected for your build. But if you're building a relatively new system, you shouldn't have too many problems here. However, it's general rule of thumb just to follow what we've always done, and that's install them in the same color slots if your system has slots or just refer to the manual for best compatibility. But if you're really forced to, say you have a big air cooler and you have to put all your RAM DIMMs over to one side, it's really not gonna be hurting performance too much. But let me know what you run in terms of RAM configurations down in that comment section. Do you run a single kit? Do you run dual sticks? Or do you run four or more? Let me know down below how much RAM you are running. If you wanna pick up some crucial RAM like what we tested right here today, you can find them linked in that description box and also to even the motherboard you can find linked down in that description box. Thanks all for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.